Hi everyone, Bobby Witt with Bookkeeping Confidential here with you today. We are a virtual bookkeeping firm here to assist you in realizing the profit for your business and any of your other bookkeeping needs that you might have. Today I want to share with you how to record a vehicle loan. I went ahead and pre-added the accounts and the chart of accounts to save some time. Let's say you buy a vehicle for business use only. If you are going to add personal, then you will need to contact your CPA and the rules of that and tracking it. We're going to go up to the plus sign and here you're going to do a journal entry. You're going to date it, the, per the date of the purchase of the vehicle. The importance of this is so that your CPA knows when to start the depreciation of that loan. So it's also the vehicle is an asset. So we're going to look for our vehicle fixed asset. We're going to debit it, let's say 24000 keep it even. And we also need to offset that debit with a credit. So we borrowed the 24000 from the bank to get this vehicle. So we need to record the loan. We will go down here, vehicle loan, 24000 If you want to put in a description of the vehicle, that's not a problem. Save and close. Your vehicle is now recorded on your balance sheet, and it's got the asset listed and the liability listed. Now the time comes for your monthly payments. So you're going to do an expense, and your payee is going to not be Books by Bessie. Let's do EDD. I don't know what that is, but we'll use it real quick. So now you're going to go look for your auto expense. There's your auto interest. That's the interest part of your loan every month, $75. Now you want to take your principal and apply it to your loan that's on your balance sheet. Which is right there, vehicle loan. And that's $375 because your car payment is $450 a month. Now that payment here will reduce your principal on your balance sheet by 375 and also your interest will be recorded as an expense. If you need more help in setting this kind of thing up on your balance sheet and your income statement, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.